Well, well. You surprised me, Jack. I suppose that we can trust you from now on. Of course, I shall keep my word. I will spare the human girl. Jack! Are you all right? Hey, Ridley. What's wrong? Are you hurt? No, it's not that. Lord Zane! Terrible news, sir! What is it, Coco? What happened? The humans! They've sent a force to Wind Valley! They killed Lord Saifid! What? L Lord Saifid? Are you sure of that? Yes. This is because I sent Gil and the others to the fort. Damn those humans. Very well, if that is what they want. We shall take that fort and crush them once and for all. I want all the elf forces sent to Fort Helensia now. Y yes, my lord. The humans have killed Lord Satan, the Wind Dragon. There will be consequences. Prepare yourselves for what is to come. The Wind Dragon? And so you decided to come back empty-handed? What were you thinking? I... I'm very sorry, my lord. Why did you let them get away? If the Light Elf Warrior Gil was there, there is little that they could have done. The humans have lost Fort Helencia. But on the other hand, we have managed to slay the Wind Dragon. Who cares about dragons? You imbecilic dumbbell! You useless ninny! I am very, very, very sorry, Lord Jasna. Please forgive my carelessness. Very well. I will give you one more chance. I want you to find that perverted little twerp and bring him to me. Is that clear? Y yes, my lord. It was just a dream. Huh? Where am I? Oh, right. Fort Helencia. That Zane guy brought me here. Well, I guess they really are going to war with the humans. Jack, are you up? The strategy meeting is about to start. Huh? Oh, hey, Ridley. What's the matter, Jack? You've been kind of down since yesterday. Yeah. It's just that Leonard said that I'd turned against my own kind. With Zane starting this war, I've ended up fighting against my own friends. The world is starting to change. There's nothing any of us can do to stop it. Yeah. But still. Listen. We all have our own mission in life. Everyone has a belief in how things should be. Humans have human dreams. Elves have elven dreams. I have mine. And Jack, you have yours, right? I guess so. Protecting you! That's my mission, I guess. <laughs> if that's true, then I'm very grateful. Ridley. Jack. Listen to me. I can't turn away from this war. Yeah. Okay then. I'll have to come along and protect you. That's going to be my job. Jack. Right! You said something about a meeting? I think I'll have to check that out. Never going to get this meeting started. I'm all ready to go here. Come on. Be patient. We're waiting for the guest of honor. 
Guest of honor? What's he gonna do? Give a speech? The guest of honor will be leading the discussion. You weren't so keen on the war yesterday. Humans change like the weather. Greetings to you all! Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Huh? It's the geezer with the funny money! Hello! Is that the young laddie I met in town? Ah! You were a great help to me that day! Uh, crushing bones! Crushing bones! Lord Parsec and the boy know each other? Apparently. Lord Parsec, we should be starting the meeting now. Aye, I reckon we should. What's this? A human girl? Ah, uh, yes. This is the girl who received the transpiration from my brother. Oh, I heard about that, I did. So then, you must be Hap. The name's Ridley. Ho 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 ho! What a delightful young lady. Parsec the Fire Dragon at your service. What? The old guy's the Fire Dragon? Now, let's begin this strategy meeting. What we decide here will affect the fate of all fairy creatures. Indeed, the fate of the entire world. But first, I must offer my sincere condolences to you, Lord Parsec. The death of Lord Seyfed is a great loss. Ah, you don't have to worry about him one bit. He's only sleeping, that's all. What do you mean? What's this? Don't tell me that the immortal elves have forgotten how our world works. How it works? No, I reckon I'll just have to explain it. Our world is governed by the great cosmic elements. You know that much, don't you? Wind, water, earth, and fire. We four dragons are responsible for watching over these four elements. The Cosmic Order. Yes, that's right. The Wind Dragon guards the Elves. The Water Dragon guards the Orcs. The Earth Dragon guards the Dwarves. And as the Fire Dragon, I am responsible for guarding the Goblins. Wait, but what about us humans? Humans have the most important role of all. They serve as the vessel for the Twin Dragon. We're a... vessel? That's right. The twin dragons, the gold dragon and the silver dragon, keep watch over this world. Just as night follows day and day follows night, so the two dragons each take their turn as guardian. Silver dragon or gold dragon, one or the other always looks over the world and protects its order. But neither dragon has its own form. They have to enter a vessel before they can awaken. So without humans to serve as their vessel, the twin dragons would never awake. Exactly, me little lady. Oh, you're as sharp-minded as you are charming. Okay, so which one's in charge now? The gold one or the silver one? Now it is the era of the Silver Dragon, but the time of the Gold Dragon is close. When it comes, it will mean the end of this world. The end? But wait, does that mean it'll be the end for humans too? Yes, as long as the four elements stay unbalanced, then it's bound to happen. On the other hand, when the end comes, the four dragons will reawaken from their sleep and live again. Hey, that sucks! What kind of system is that? Oh, you can't argue with it. It's your destiny. Of course. Humans are destined to die. Algandars is spreading through the land. The cosmic elements have been thrown out of balance. It's inevitable. No. 
That has nothing to do with it. What do you mean? The dwarves of Earth Valley are being trampled underfoot. My brother Nogueira has been killed. But no one knows when Quasar the Ghoul Dragon will awaken. In any case, while there's no vessel, nothing will change. But there is. In the meantime, all you can do is play your role and follow your own convictions. You have to do your very best to fulfill your own mission. That's what makes you alive. Yes, I get it. I know what the old guy is trying to say. I doubt it. Sure I do. The way I figure, the Silver Dragon and Gold Dragon are like fate, right? We don't know when the Gold Dragon is going to wake up. Just like no one knows when they're going to die. So all we humans can do is go out there and do our best every day. Ho 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 ho. I think the little laddie gets it. See, I'm right. If that is the case, it is our never-ending duty to quash the arrogance of the humans, is it not? I reckon that's right, too. However, there is one thing that has been bothering me a little. And what is that? I think that Ophelion, the Silver Dragon, may be up to something. Ophelion's that guy you were looking for a while back, right? Aye. He's taken a certain human as a vessel. And he's controlling the humans from within Radiata Castle. What? The Silver Dragon is in Radiata Castle? I finally found out where he was hiding just before I came here. But if he's in Radiata Castle, then who is he? Do I know him? No, don't you worry about that. You let me deal with Aphelion. I'd like to find out what he's up to. I think it's time I dropped by and paid him a visit. Are you going to Radiata Castle? But my lord, think of the danger. Oh no, I'll be fine if I stay in human form. In any case, I don't have much choice. It's my job to speak to him. Very well. In the meantime, we shall all be working to fulfill our own convictions. Right. You do that then. Hey, old guy. I've got a question. What would that be? My father... Well... He killed the water dragon. Is killing a dragon like a crime or something? Huh? What did he say? So then... You must be Cairn's son. It's not a crime, lad. Your father was doing nothing more than following his own mission. Okay. <laughs> if you put it that way... <laughs> Jack, I think you should pay a little visit to Goblin Haven. Huh? Goblin Haven? What's that? Goblin Haven. It's the Black Goblin Village, of course. You should take Miss Ridley with you, I reckon. Take me? But the war's just starting. What are we supposed to do all the way out there? Well, if you go, you'll find out, won't you, lad? I think that going there is part of your destiny, Jack. Hmm. Well? How about it, Ridley? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. <laughs> no doubt about it. She's a real charmer. You know, old guy, you could try acting more dragon-like. Jack, watch your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Coco, I want you to guide these two to Goblin Haven. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, my lord. Oh! 
greetings. Yes? 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 You!
Hey! 